Junior Motorsports presents the Pre-Race Report. This week, Junior Motorsports races at their home track, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Charlotte is a 1.5 mile quad oval track with 24 degree banking in the turn. 90% of race teams call Charlotte home. Yeah, Charlotte in spring was good for us. Um, our car was pretty fast and then we had to battle back from some adversity. We, uh, we had a left rear wheel loose um, during a green flag run and I had to pit under green. I think we lost a lap, maybe two. We were real loose at entering the corners at Charlotte and uh, we kind of fought that all day long. Then we ended up having a loose wheel on a pit stop and ended up getting a lap down. And uh, We finally got the lucky dog, got that lap back. I felt like if we would have had better track position throughout that day, we would have finished even better than, than where we finished. I think we finished ninth. I feel like going back for the second time and just making our program better each and every week, I feel like we're going to be better you know, everywhere we go for the second time. The first race in Charlotte is when they had the uh, big screen there for the first time. You don't realize how big it is until you get over there and actually see it. We could see the TV from Pitt Road, so there's a lot of, a lot of people was on their pit boxes turning around backwards watching the big the big screen on the back. I bet it's great for the guys and, and gals up in the, stand, in the stands in the front. I mean, it's got to be a pretty wild deal. Let's go behind the wheel with Eric Albarola. This place is hot and slick during the day. It's black asphalt. It just bakes in the sun, makes it a nightmare for the crew chiefs. And then nighttime, all the grip comes back when the track cools down. Turn three and four to the corners just so much tighter than one and two. You want to run a really wide arc, get down to that white line, make sure you come off the corner on that white line. If you turn in too early, you'll never get it turned. One and two is really, really fast. You know, one of the faster corners we go to on, than on any racetrack. You can really drive in the corner hard. You can carry a lot of speed through there. Then three and four is the exact opposite. It seems like you're putzing through there, but if you try to go faster, you just miss the corner, and it, it really costs you a lot of straightaway speed down the front stretch. And that's it, that's Charlotte. Join us this week as Junior Motorsports takes on the Dollar General 300.